couple have a wedding photo shoot, but then a photographer notices something strange. This couple pose together for the first time in front of a beautiful castle. But when the photographer zoomed in on the groom, he noticed an unusual detail. And how was he supposed to say this to the bride? Wedding photographer Ken hurried to reach Art Hatney Castle, where Rinko and Anna had said yes a few minutes ago. Unfortunately, due to heavy traffic, he couldn't get there sooner. With his suitcases full of photographic equipment, the photographer realized that it was already late and made his way through the crowd to reach the newlyweds. When Rimko and Anna saw that it was coming, they let out a sigh of relief. Finally, they could take the pictures of the most beautiful moment of their lives. So Ken went straight to work. But what happened suddenly shocked the photographer. Everything that surrounded the couple was wonderful. Happiness was clearly evident from looking at the two lovebirds and the photographer wanted to capture that beauty in his photos. So I take a lot of photos from different angles. Guys make a beautiful couple. I can see it in the photos, Ken enthusiastically told Anna and Rinko, who didn't mind posing for so many photos. The photographer smiled and took a few more close-ups of the photogenic newlyweds. However, when he zoomed in, his smile immediately disappeared from his face. Sweat was coming down Ken's forehead. For an instant, he felt puzzled but forced himself to take the last photographs. After the photo shoot, the bride and groom's party began. But the photographer looked for a quiet place to see the photos well and relax. Had he seen well? I really hope not. Ken opened his laptop and examined several photos of the newlyweds. Then, he compared them to another photo shoot he had done a month ago. He held the two photos side by side and was shocked it's true. He had to find the girlfriend right now and tell her about his strange discovery. Ken thought for a while about how he could tell Anna the news. It could break his heart, but he had to know. His happiness had suddenly turned into a nightmare. But it was true. He couldn't live if he didn't tell him. The photographer entered the ballroom, where the party was being held and waited for a second on the balcony. From there, he searched through the huge crowd. He soon located the bride, who was dancing happily with the guests. She was smiling from ear to ear. Sadly, his joy would not last long. With complete determination, Ken headed towards the bride. Just as Ken was about to approach where Anna was, he saw that she was walking away from the crowd. He walked out of the banquet hall and entered a smaller room on the other side of the building. He followed her and saw that she remained alone looking out the window. Ken knocked on the door and Anna turned around to see who she was. Sorry for bothering you, but I have something to tell you, he said, his voice trembling. The girlfriend pointed out that she first needed a minute to catch her breath from the dance and that overwhelming day. Although she was also very curious about what he wanted to show her and was a little nervous. In the eyes, you could see his worry. Ken didn't wait any longer and grabbed his laptop and camera. I don't know how to tell you this, but I think your husband has a double life. He married this woman last month. When I zoomed in, I recognized it if I hadn't been late today. I probably would have recognized it sooner. The photographer said sorry that he had to bring her such news and hoped she wouldn't be too shocked and sad. However, looking at her reaction, he couldn't quite place her thoughts. The photographer was very sorry for having to give you that news and waited by his side so that he would not have a reaction of too much sadness or crying. Seeing his reaction, he couldn't put his thoughts in order. Because the bride looked at him with a slightly strange, intense look, Anna put her hand on the photographer's shoulders and tried not to laugh. That other man is Greg. He is Rimko's twin brother. He married last month. Unfortunately, Greg couldn't go because he was sick. Look here, and he showed him a picture of the two men side by side. Ken put his hands on his forehead and breathed a sigh of relief. Let's go to the party, Anna said with a laugh. There was something I still didn't quite understand. Ken looked at the name of the wedding album of Rimko's twin brother and saw that they had a different surname. That was weird. Anna felt the photographer's hand again and turned around. 
And what about this? Asked the suspicious Ken. Anna let out a small sigh and replied in a reassuring voice. Rimko and Greg's parents divorced when both brothers were still very young. Greg had a bad relationship with his father, so he chose to live with his mother and also changed his last name. The photographer nodded and followed the bride to the dance floor with relief. Thank goodness, now we can party all night without any more.